Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'da habita filah, a question was asked and I'm assuming the question is a Muslim, but I'm not sure He said, if Islam is perfect, then why is there differences of opinion? Is this a wisdom for there to be differing? So I would imagine this is a Muslim who's asking this question because this goes to the decree of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the, the qadr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wa qadahi. And as far as the divine hikmah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best. However, what we see from some of the nusuls, for example, uh, in a beautiful statement by one of our salaf al-sadi, Fudayl ibn Iyad, rahimahullah ta'ala, he said, commenting about the verse, where Allah Tabaraka Ta'ala says, Fi Kitab al Kareem in Surah Al Mulk, Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala says, Li yablukum ayyukum uh, ahsan al amala. Uh, Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala says, In order to test you to see which one of you is best in deeds. <laughs> so we see that many things are trials or tribulations that were tested. This is part of the divine wisdom of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. It's, it's a test for you to see which one of you is best in deeds. So perhaps that the, the ikhtilaf, the differing, is a part of that. Fudayl ibn Iyad, rahimahullah ta'ala, said about this ayat, he said, أَخْلَصُهُ وَأَسْوَبُهُ فَإِنَّهُ إِذَا كَانَ خَالِسًا وَلَمْ يَكُنْ سُوَابًا لَمْ يَقْبَلُ وَإِذَا كَانَ سَوَابًا وَلَمْ يَكُنْ خَالِصًا لَمْ يُقْبَلْ حَتَّى يَكُونُ خَالِصًا وَالْخَالِصْ إِذَا كَانَ لِلَّهِ وَسَوَابًا إِذَا كَانَ عَلَى سُنَّةِ Beautiful, beautiful statement which shows the importance of sincerity to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he said that these deeds, meaning, uh, you know, in relation to our deeds, you know, so we're talking about a test and why the difference in ikhtilaf, but to expand a little bit about what does it mean, righteous deeds? What are we talking about to see be tested, to see which one of you has best deeds? Fudayl ibn Iyad, he explained, he said, to see which one of you is most sincere and most correct. Because that's what uh, righteous deeds, righteous deeds are built on two things. Ikhlas lillah, sincerity to Allah, and that you do it in accordance with the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu Then we call it, uh, a righteous deed in Islam. So he said, for verily, if something is sincere for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but is not correct, it is not accepted. And if something is correct, but it's not done, done out of sincerity, then it's not accepted. Until it is sincere, and sincerity is meaning that it's done strictly for Allah. And sawab, or that it's correct, is that it is upon the sunnah. That it's upon the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. So that means that it is, it's uh, correct when we talk about a deed. Getting back to ikhtilaf. So what can we say about this? We know that this is from the divine wisdom of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has, this is just his sunnah. Tabarak wa ta'ala, that he, subhanahu wa ta'ala, has made differences between the people and that the people would make differences after that which is correct came to them. And this was is the sunnah of Allah, meaning the nations before, this is their problem. This is how they broke into groups and sects. And uh, in illustration of this, we have so many verses in the Quran where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions... For example, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al-Kareem, وَلَا تَكُونُوا كَالَّذِينَ تَفَرَّقُوا وَاخْتَلَفُوا مِنْ بَعْدِ مَا جَاهُمْ الْبَيْنَ وَأُولَيْكَ الْهُمْ عَذَابٌ عَظِيمٌ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah, surah uh, Ali Imran, He says, And do not be like those, meaning this is the nations before, uh, who, di who, who broke into groups and differed. After al came to them. So after the truth came to them, that's when they split and differed. Oh, here's the haq. Now you can split it. Now they split and differ. And then he says, 
وَأُولَيْكَ لَهُمْ عَذَابٌ عَظِيمٌ Verily, those are the ones who have a sinful punishment. And that's why Ahlul Sunnah is always saying not to divide. And going with those, those uh, nusus, and there's so many. Let's just take the ayat that we mention often, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al-Kareem, وَاَعْتَسِمُوا بِحَبْلِ اللَّهِ جَمِيعًا وَلَا تَفَرَّقُوا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commands us to be one nation. وَاَعْتَسِمُوا بِحَبْلِ اللَّهِ جَمِيعًا all of, you hold, uh, all of you hold steadfast to the rope of Allah, and then Allah prohibits what? Dividing. وَلَا تَفَرَّقُوا And do not divide. So Allah commands us, and when we know we have an amr, al amr yufid al wujub, when we have a command, that means that the origin of that command is that it's an obligation. So Allah commanded us to be one ummah, to hold on to the rope of the law. And some of the mufassirin, the people of tafsir, they say it's the Quran, and some of them say it's the Sunnah, and some say it's Islam. So Quran and Sunnah. So it lets us know that we have to unite upon Quran and Sunnah. Not upon newly invented matters, not upon anything that's going to take us away from the Book of Allah and the Sunnah, the Message of Allah, sallallahu alaihi wasallam. A taqdim rai ala nusus, you know, take our intellect, intellectual opinions and views and ideologies above the Quran and the Sunnah, the text. No, we can't do that. So that's why we can't unite with everyone because everyone's not on the same page, basically. So Allah lets us know that we would divide. And But at the same time, he prohibits it. Now look at this. We're going to talk about something else. It just brought to my mind. This also shows us something very beautiful that you, you see the ulama talk about. And this is... What is referred to as... Uh, al uh, Qadr... Konia wa qadr shar'iya, or this is the um, basically the, if you will, the laws of Allah subhanahu wa taala, or the 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 um, the rida or the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa taala, or His will, His will uh, that is sharia based, and there's the will of Allah subhanahu wa taala which is something that has to be. It's general. For example, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in general, now let, let's analyze this, in general, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, a part of Mashiatillah, part of the, the, the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and His divine decree is a part of His divine decree, He created everything, He created you with the choice, you can believe or you can disbelieve. So there are people who are wicked sinners. There are Satan worshippers. They just caught two Satan worshippers. Two little girls at 11 years old in an American school, high sc or junior high, about to kill people in the, in the bathroom with knives. They had weapons and everything. Allah allowed them to be, to have the choice between kufr and iman. And allows evil to exist. This is in general, this is part of the... Mashiach uh, Konia. This is just his divine wisdom and the decree. You know, there's all kind of things that happen. Nothing can go outside the will of Allah. He created everything. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is Konia. Sharia are those things which Allah loves and is pleased with. So Allah loves and is pleased with the fact that you're a believer. That you believe in him, that you worship him and him alone. That is the shari'a. And that's the difference between konia and shari'a. Konia is general, it's you know, everything that is in existence, and it has to be from his divine wisdom. You know, you, you can't deter that. And that allows, that's how evil exists, and people have choices, and, and uh, people sin and make mistakes, and some do the most wickedest of deeds. Look at the priests and others, and unfortunately even amongst our community, people who are pedophiles, people who are rapists, doing evil and wicked, devilish crimes. But that doesn't go against Allah's, that he created everything. That's his, uh, his Mashiach Konia. You know, that's his, a part of his decree and a part of his will uh, that he created. Meaning the, 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 the creation, not his will, 
but the creation of those things happening. Okay, that's a part of the general creation that uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made possible. However, the, the uh, Mashiach uh, Shari'a is those things which are a part of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's will that he loves and is pleased with and things like iman and obedience and taqwa and good deeds and things like this. Those things are pleasing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, ikhtilaf, where does that fall? That falls with the koniya, not the shari'a, because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commands us to be one and not to divide. And he also says that those who divide are those people who are deserving of punishment. And, he, oh, and all throughout the Quran, he talks about how it is a sinful practice. The Prophet sallallahu said, إِنَّمَا أَهْلَكَ مَنْ كَانَ قَبْلُكُمْ اِخْتِلَافُهُمْ فِي الْكِتَابِ Allah, uh, The Prophet والسلام, said in a hadith, and this is a hadith, أَخْرَجُوا Muslim. This is Sahih Muslim, Kitab Al-Ilm. He said, Verily, what destroyed those who came before you, because he said this out of anger, as it mentions, is they're differing in the book. They're differing. So, differing is madhmum. We have... Tons of evidence. The Prophet ﷺ said, If tarakatil yahuda la itta wa sab'in farqa, if tarakatil nasara la itta wa sab'in farqa, wa sa taftariku hadhi umma la talatha wa sab'in farqa, kullaha fin nara la wahida, kulla man hiya ya Rasulullah, kala man kana ala mithli wa ma kana alayhi wa sahabi. The Prophet ﷺ said, the Jews break into 71 sects, Christians 72 sects, my um in the 73 sects, all in the fire except one. They said, who are they, Ya Rasulullah? Those are upon what I'm upon and what my companions are upon. Letting us know, what is that ikhtilaf? That's ikhtilaf, that's the koniya. That's under the koniya. Why? Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created everything and he allowed that ikhtilaf to go even if he's displeased with this. That's from his divine wisdom. So that is the decree of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as far as that. So we can look at our differences and the differences in groups and sects and, and opinions and so forth. The Prophet sallallahu said, Whoever lives uh, after me will see many differences. And then he said, He said, so it's upon you my sunnah and the sunnah of the rightly guided khalifat. So it lets us know, again, that this is a sinful practice, dividing in the sects and groups, having new jama'at, look at jama'at, looking in this day, we're not even going to talk about all those classical sects, but look at the jama'at, the groups that we have today, Akhwana Muslimin, Jama'at Takfir wa Hijra, we have... Um, we have uh, 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 Jamaat Tabliq. We have various Sufi groups. We, then we can go to the classic sects: Mu'tazila, Jahmiya, Qadariya, uh, Murjia, Khawarij. You know, it just goes on and on and on. Jahmiya. So many groups and sects. So many. The Ummah has been breaking into sects and groups, beginning during the life of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Zul Khawaisira appeared. And he's the father of the Khawarij. So people like, uh, you know, some of these contemporary individuals in Du'at, like Faisal Jamaiki or Abu Hamza uh, Misri or uh, Abu Qatada Filistini or Abu Muhammad uh, Maqdisi and many, many, many other takfiris in this contemporary age, they are descendants in Aqidah because they take some very... They take some of their core principles from the original Khawarij Takfiri Grusu. The Prophet Sallallahu said, Al Khawarij Kilab and Nar, they're the dogs of the hellfire. They take their or some of their usul, some of their usul from them, especially in the issue of takfir, of making decreeing another Muslim to be a disbeliever and wanting to spill their blood. This is the trait of the Khawarij. So the point being Habitifillah is this a test. Differing is a test. It's according to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's divine will, uh, koniya, meaning something he doesn't like, but he created and allowed for it to be in existence from his divine wisdom. And it's a test. However, again, a shari'ah, uh, 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 the Mashiach shari'ah, or the, the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that's in accordance with the shari'ah, are those things which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves and is pleased with. 
from righteous deeds and not breaking into being one community as we're ordered to do. And I hope that gives some insight into uh, the visions. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Anything I said that was correct is from Allah Azza wa Jalla. Anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the shaitan. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala unite the ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam based on the Quran and the sunnah of the, his messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and forgive us of our many sins and our splitting and our dividing into groups and sects and bless us to call to what pleases him subhanahu wa ta'ala wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.